it's me, Renee. I'm back, and as you can see, this is the mid-year freakout book tag. And uh, kind of interesting, but like, as I was kind of preparing to do this video, yeah, I prepared once. I was actually thinking, huh, this year I've actually read quite a lot. Quite a lot of really good books. For some reason I thought I hadn't read that many books. I suppose it depends who you ask that many and stuff, but like, when I looked over the story graph, I was like, oh, was that this year and that this year? Like, some books I thought I read last year, I read this year, so, yeah. And a lot of them were very, very good. So, yeah, I would say I have a kind of spoiler So far, I had a great, well, pretty good reading year. So that's nice. Though, yeah, there hasn't been just hits. There have been some misses. Uh, yeah. This tag was created by Ellie and Cammy. I'll post the original down below. And uh, yeah, let's get to the questions. Now, I'm just gonna find my notes. First, we have best book you've read so far. Here, already I'm kind of gonna say um, I object because the question it says. Okay, so, sorry. Um, I haven't seen the original video. I probably should have done that. I mean, a lot of the time I do that before I do tags. I didn't do it today. Uh, but yeah. Uh, because sometimes things get lost in translation. Like when when you watch a video of someone else doing the tag and not the original one. You kind of miss stuff sometimes. But yeah. Anyway. Uh, but I have written down the best book you read so far. I would say objection best book. Didn't there are books? Well, I suppose some people are unlucky and they don't read that many good books and maybe they don't read that many books, but I've read a lot of books. A lot of them are very good. Well, I'm not gonna choose. Are you mad? No, I'm not choosing. So I'm showing you a little of a little of um a little oh, what's the word again? A little selection of a few books. So I read Lessons in Chemistry, as you can see, it's uh, it's an arc, but yeah, it's coming out in August in Norway. Uh, it's already out in English, in the English-speaking world. It's coming out all over the world, I feel like, or a lot of places this year. Uh, it's a book about a chemist, a female chemist in the 1950s. She's very smart, but because it's the 1950s in the, in the United States, She's often looked at as secretary or think to thought of as like she's not smart enough, she shouldn't be here. So it's very much a book about female empowerment and going against the going against the mainstream or like being an outsider. And yeah, it's funny. It's thought provoking in some ways. Uh, it's uh, has a nice love story. It has yeah, it makes you think. It has everything. It's being uh, adapted to a TV series, which, yeah, quite fun, with, I was about to say Bunny, Bunny is the author, with, with Brie Larson, and uh, yeah, recommend it, definitely. And then we have The Duke Heist by Erica Riley. This is the first in the series, and uh, yeah, so yeah, I read it this year, honestly. This is, I'm going to say, one of my favorite books ever, it's just Amazing. It's one of those books that are just perfect because perfect romance, perfect characters, or not perfect, but like characters that you don't really like, they're well rounded. The setting is so cool. There's a heist, but it's a historical setting, so it's like so cool. And it, it's, it's just, and it's quotable, and it's, it, yeah, it's amazing, like in every way. Like also, they, they are cover so beautiful, stunning. It's amazing. Uh, and yeah, it's a first-line series, so yay me! I do know that the author has written other books before the series. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna read the series definitely. Sometimes I get burned, and some authors have some good series and some and it's not so good. But I do know that this series is probably gonna be amazing, so yeah, because I love this world and these characters, so yeah. And I already own a prequel book from this. Uh, I'll show that in the next book haul, whenever that happens. And then we have Moonstruck by Grace Ellis and Shay Beagle. 
this is also the first. I love these are first and stuff. But, well, that one. Well, sorry, that Lessons in Chemistry is the debut book, so it's not, it's not first in a way. Uh, yeah, this is the first uh, comic graphic novel. Uh, it's set in a fantasy world. Well, it's a, an urban fantasy world where there's creatures living side by side with humans. And I just, yeah, very much enjoyed this book. Sorry. And definitely going to read on. Love it so much. So sweet and lovely. And then we have Amelia Westlake was never here by Erin Gough. It is a YA, also it's a mystery, it's not a mystery, it's a YA contemporary female empowerment book, I would say, like why contemporary feminist read, like it has like feminism on the forefront. Uh, if you like Monica Marsh, I would say check out this. If you like Moxley, check out this. And uh, if you like Holly Boone, check out this book. And uh, yeah, great, great read. Then we gonna move on to the next prompt, which, yeah, there, give me a moment. Haha, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Next one is best sequel. Again, I've read quite a few sequels. Uh, so I had something to choose from there. I end up going for two books because choosing one book, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I think you might be. I'm not gonna choose. I'm not gonna stand for this nonsense of choosing. I'm giving you two books. So we have Must Do Better by Kate Weston, second in the series. As so far, I'm not sure if this is a duology, like this is his last one, or if there will be more. Because I feel like, again, like I felt like the first one could have been standalone, and I heard, oh, this is my second one. I feel like this could be in the end, but I feel like you could write more. I really want more, but I don't know if there's going to be more. But, um, in this one, they go to France to use their French. That's, I mean, how successful is that? Not sure, but they get new friends. And um, yeah, it's really fun and enjoyable. That's the first one, I'd say. And then we have Remember Jane Baker by Kelly Oram, which is the last book. In the series, it really packs a, packs a punch, and yeah, so this would say, I would say it's a very good sequel, and an ending to a series. <laughs> There's no prompt here on this, uh, on this, uh, what's the one tag, uh, like, best ending you read, but if there were, I would say this one. Because that's the best I've read so far this year. And then we have, blah, 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 blah. New release you want to read? Again, I have quite a few that I haven't read yet. Yeah, I mean, buying books because I have so many unread books, but no, I don't do that. Yeah, I decided to go with free books that I want to read. We have um, The Mad Girls of New York by Maya, Maya Rodale. This is an adult fictionalized version of uh, Nellie Bly's life. It is a no, no blind story novel. I'm not sure if this is a person series or what. But anyway, I really like Nellie Bly as a person. She uh, was a journalist in the early 1800s to travel around the world inspired by Jules Verne. And um, yeah, decided to read this one. Then we have Arrivals, which is the third book in the American Royals by Captain McGee. This is just so cheesy, but lovely and I yeah I just love this book it's just my kind of jam when I need this kind of jam so yeah and then we have The King is Dead by Benjamin Dean which I suppose is kind of like this one because they're both about royalties this one is about royalty in England this one is about royalty in US so this is fictionalized this well this is fictionalized as well but I mean it's based in the UK uh, but this has queer representation and it's uh, also a mystery. I'm not quite sure what the mystery aspect of it is, but it's kind of fun to go into it not knowing that much. I've heard good things about it, so yeah. It's a debut book, also fun, so yeah. yeah and then, what well, there. Um, and then, yeah, 
anticipated book for the rest of the year. Here, also I have a selection, I can't choose one. Three books, well, three books, give me a moment. I have bloody, bloody, blah, 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 blah. Sea Sparrow by C Kristen Cushel. This is the fifth book in this series. In this one, it takes place all about, uh, all with, I'm forgetting about the character's name, but it's a character who's a, a half sibling, half sister of, um, god damn it. She's a half sister of, Bitter Blue, which is one of the main characters in the series, and the half uh, half sister is she's traveling um, on sea, like from one place of the world to the other. So it's all about that sea uh, journey. So it's kind of like a road trip, just she she uh, uh, ocean trip. Uh, and yeah, I didn't love the fourth book, but I I love this world, and I really like this character. You know, and for me remember what the name is at the moment. But yeah, that one's out in December, November, the late part of the year. All right. Then we have a new Miss Marple series, uh, Miss Marple book, Marple Twelve New Mysteries. It's simply called. Yeah, that's, that's what it's called. Uh, it's coming out in September. So it's Miss Marple, but it's new stories. Um, it's uh, official from the. Agatha Christie uh, estate, but it's all con contemporary authors who write with Miss Marple. Uh, so you have Kate Moss, Lucy Foley, Alyssa Cole, uh, Ag uh, Agatha Christie, read. Okay, Lee Bardugo, uh, Karen and Mac 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 McManus. So so many uh, authors, and yeah, love Miss Marple, love some of these authors. So can't wait. And then we have the uh, Ministry of Only Luck Activity by Robin Stevens. The first in this new series is coming, I think it's September. Did it all? Oh, it's coming out August. It's coming uh, this fall, anyway, like this one, September or, or August. I believe it's September. Anyway, it's the first in a new series with uh, Hazel's half sister. Uh, no, is it her half sister? With Hazel's sister, anyway. And this series is set during the Second World War. The first one is sec set before. This is set during the Second World War. And this is more spy based than the mystery based. So, yeah. Teens being spies. Well, like 12, 13 year olds being spies. Yeah. Very excited to read it. Then we have. Biggest disappointment. So here I would have to go for um, this one, Confessions of a Book Curious Bookseller by Elizabeth Green. I read this back in February, March, a long time ago now. So like, yeah, Confessions of a Curious Bookseller. I love books. I work in a bookstore. Book, bookstore. Bookstore. You'd think this would be perfect for me. It looked perfect for me. Bought it, was so excited, and then read it. It's like, what? 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 I, I planned on DNFing it, but I just can't end up reading in the whole book because, I don't know, I just can't open this. Just think, like, okay, but next chapter will be good. Next chapter will be good. Give me a moment. Yes, I'm back. Sorry, had to take a phone. Uh, yeah, where was I? I'm pretty sure I was still talking about this book. Confessions of a bookseller, curious bookseller. So, yeah, it is very cool. The execution, it wasn't that good. I mean, I did, didn't did definitely read all of it because I was optimistic, thinking the next chapter will be better. And I suppose it was never awful because it's set in a bookstore. And it kind of, I feel like for me, this is kind of like two, two and a half, three stars. Like, it's not, it's not awful. But it's not very enjoyable, and it's not amazing. It's kind of in the between there, like, yeah. But yeah, definitely a disappointment. Sadly, I managed to like read it. I think I had it like during war or something, so I damaged it. So I probably can't. I suppose I could give it to Goodwill, but like it doesn't look that nice. 
Maybe I'll kind of use it as like a book art. I'm not sure. But you know, I want to reread it. So yeah, yeah. So that's definitely my biggest disappointment. Also, like, what are you thinking? Big, big disappointment. Because the question is also, what's your biggest surprise? Like you could think surprise. It could be good, could be bad. Uh, because like surprise, like unexpected. I end up using that one for disappointment, and then going with. Daughter of the Deep, for biggest uh, uh, surprise. Because it's a Rick Riordan book, so you I was kind of expected it to be very good. At least, good. Honestly, in my mind, uh, it was one star, maybe one, maybe two star. Like, okay, so Daughter of the Deep, I really like the idea of it. The execution of it, and the story, and... Honestly, I think the only thing I liked about it was the execution of it. So, like, I know this it's being made into a movie. Maybe I like the movie, movie much more. I mean, sometimes... <gasps> sometimes I like the movie better than the book. I think here that might happen. Because with the Daughter of the Deep... Okay, so it's a standalone, I think. I think, honestly, I think also, like, if it was the first in a series, I could, like, forgive it. Because then it could just be a... Uh, a bit sloppy first in the series. But it is, as far as we know, so far, a standalone. We don't, we aren't getting more in this universe, so far as we are, no, like, at least not, um, soon. And, like, as a standalone, it doesn't work. It does not work. Well, at least not in my opinion. Some people believe it works, for me, it doesn't. Because, I mean, it begins so quickly, well, okay, so you have a few pages where you introduce stuff, and then, of the first chapter, the second chapter, Boom! Stuff really happens. Shenanigans happen. The world is changed. And yeah, you can start with, like with a world, uh, something world changing early in a book. You can do that. But if you do that, then you should like because it was so soon. We we weren't really we didn't really know the characters. So then, like after one chapter, so then having a chap had the characters be in peril in chapter two is like don't really care that much because I just met you. You don't care that much with characters you just meet being in peril. You don't. At least I don't. I suppose sometimes you do, but that's very, very rare. There's a reason, at least for me, that the best books have a twist in the middle or like towards the end because then you care about the characters and then you care about being things being turned upside down. But in the second chapter, no, no. And then it just kind of the pacing was so quick, which usually it's not a bad thing to have quick pacing, but when it's a different world than the world we live in, having a pacing be quick and having it be like, yeah, having a pacing be quick, and you, you, you don't really get time to get learn to know the world or the characters. It, just things happen, 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 happen. And it's like, how should you really react or care when you, you don't really relate or you don't really you aren't really invested so yeah for me Dawn of the Deep didn't work at all and yeah because it's a Rick Riordan book definitely my biggest surprise definitely is. a bad surprise but a surprise so yeah uh, then we have let me see yeah a new uh, uh, question is new offer so I read a lot of books, but most of the books I've read are either uh, oh new favorite author. Most of the books I've read are either uh, one book by author, uh, or they're by authors I've already read. So yeah, and I don't want to quote on a new favorite author if I just read one book by them. So I'm gonna skip this question. And then we have fictional crush, which is William Pennington from Meet Me in the Margins. I listened to this one on audiobook and I very much enjoyed it. It's described as um, for fans of You Got Mail, which honestly, I don't really love that movie. I like it, don't love it. But I loved this book so much. It's set in the publishing world, so you have all this book talk and all this book niceness. You have great characters. It's both funny and romantic, romantic, and yeah, it's just great in all the ways. 
it's a bit of a mystery to it because there's pen pals, but you don't really know who the pen pal is, but you can kind of guess and stuff. And yeah, so yeah, one of the people in this book, William Pennington, yeah, is definitely a new favorite crush. New, amazing boy, definitely. And um, yeah, check out that book if you're interested for a book like that. And then we have Blitty Blitty Blue. New favorite character, which here I'm going with Veronica Speedwell from the Veronica Speedwell series. I read the first book back in April, I want to say. Yeah, April. I just had the second book, and um, yeah, I love this character. She's unconventional, she's stubborn, she's knowledgeable, she's uh, resourceful, she's just all the stuff. She's um, she knows what she wants and she gets goes for it and yeah he's an amazing character and then we have book that made you cry honestly there have really been that many books that made me cry this year but i had a book that made me almost cry which is give me a little moment this one being the second strange world book this being um uh, being an uh, uh, arc, Norwegian arc, so that's why it's the Hallets and them, not at, at the Edge World, which is the original title. So, this book, most of it, I thought it was fine. Maybe if you're in that target audience, you'll love it, but I didn't love it, but I, I thought it was fine, it was an enjoyable enough time. But the epilogue kind of comes with twists, which, which like, <gasps> Kind of made me surprised, and also, yeah, a bit. I think I got a few tears, at least. Maybe not many tears, but I think I like got close to crying. Happy tears, but yeah, close to crying. So yeah, that is that one. And then we have a book that made you happy. Uh, there's a lot of books that made me happy. Uh, I mean, I've read a lot of. Cool books as if I could simply go with this one. New favorite book, definitely, and yeah, definitely made me happy. I really love this book. So, first in the Veronica Speedwell series, check it out if you're if you want mystery with uh, and 1900s and cool characters and also hints at romance and uh, yeah, and then. Beautiful book you bought. I have bought a lot of books this year. I'm thinking one of the most beautiful ones was this one, A Perilous Undertaking, being the second one in that series. But yeah, I very much enjoy the cover, cover style of this book, of this series. I really like that it's like this one, one uh, color that's at the center, and then there's lots of details. You have like a merry-go-round. You have a turtle. Fun, interesting, and then you have Veronica there just standing there, and then it's a flower, and yeah, I really like it. And then the next prompt is uh, a book uh, you haven't yet you read yet that you want to read, like coming for the rest of the year. Uh, yeah, that's still on, on your TBR. Um, I would say this one, this one. Also, this one, um, yeah, some new reads. Though I suppose both these two are books from this year. This isn't, as, yes, because it was a new release I haven't read yet. So, yeah, these two, they both came out this year. How do you have them read them yet? Definitely do. And, yeah, and then the last prompt is name a new uh, booktube member that you enjoy. Sadly, I haven't really... Like the last year or last like half year, I haven't really checked that much out new book to people. Like I can stick to people I know from before. But I do I do have one in mind. But as always I'm forgotten the channel name or like the name. But I'm gonna link her uh, and then you can check it out. She's kind of like me, she doesn't really edit her videos, but she talks about books that I like, she talks about Sometimes she talks about stuff that's not books but fandom based and 
yeah, I really like her uh, content. And then, um, yeah, I just I know that I cannot let me remember her name. Lisa? Mona? Veronica? No. Sorry, uh, I'm blanking out. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you see this video, if you haven't done it or want to do it, tag your it. Simply tagging everyone who wants to do it. And yeah, it's fun for me to do a little tag with you. I haven't done it in a while. I've, yeah, I've also done a little few videos lately. I mean, I had a vacation and then now I have more like full a week. I suppose, yeah, I could go to like filming in the weekends. Sometimes I'll do that, but yeah, I mean, I'll film when I film, I'll post when I'll post. But maybe we'll think like, okay, booktube, YouTube, I'm gonna be amazing, I'm gonna grow and grow and grow. I mean, it's not like I need to grow that much. I do it because I like it. If, if I get a lot of viewers uh, in one po in more videos, cool. If I don't, I don't care that much. It's a bit sad, but I, I won't really change just to grow. I won't really do that. I mean, this is a hobby for me, and it's my dealio. So, yeah. It is how it is. If I change stuff, it's if I want to, and yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.